surprise 30th birthday. Hey, what's what you got? They announce myself as the pop culture queen. I'm proud of this now. I think I have a phone addiction. We're good? We're good. So I bought this thing for the back of my phone. Hello, by the way. Nice to see you. It's, it's been a minute. <laughs> it's been a minute. Let me just tell you about this behind my phone before we chat. I was watching a video by Victoria Paris and she had this little sticky thing on the back of her phone. It sticks to your phone and has like suction cups that you can stick onto windows. For example, I have you stuck on a desktop computer right now. Guys, it's been a hot minute since I've uploaded on YouTube. I took a three week social media break. Unfortunately, actually had a really sad family loss. Went home to Ireland and it was just I was in a different world. I was in a different world. So as you can imagine, posting on YouTube was not high on the agenda, but we're back in London um, getting back into regular life. It is nice to be, you know, getting back to routine and all that kind of stuff. And you know what? The break was actually so good for me because I like do work bits on social media. I kind of never thought I could take a break from social media. And that really bothered me because Sometimes I just want a break. Sometimes I just want to delete Instagram. Sometimes taking a break is healthy. And honestly, I think I have a full-blown phone addiction. Like, it's so funny, ha 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 ha, but it's also not funny. It's not funny at all. But we're back, we're back in London. And you know what? Your girl had a fire interview this morning. I interviewed for a job I want so much like so much. When I got the call that I got accepted into the round two, I had the shakes, my hands were literally shaking. I have actually gotten job offers. Don't get cross at me, don't get cross at me. I have said no to them because they just, I just wouldn't be happy. I know, I know, Stephanie, you're unemployed. You should be taking any job that's given to you. No, I don't wanna get into a job and be looking for a new job straight away. That's Stupid. So I might as well just get one that I'd be happy with. Guys, it's been so long since I talked on camera. It kind of feels weird, I'm not gonna lie. I actually have something cool to show you. It's in the frame right now. Do you know what it is? Majori sent me this necklace and asked for me to take a photo in it for Instagram. Okay. I'll take a photo for you anytime for Instagram Majori, anytime. I'm a really big Majori fan. There's two jewelry brands I love. One, Majori. Two, Gab's luck. When I lived in New York, I used to go to the jewelry store and just walk around because I was obsessed with it. And I got these earrings for my birthday, like a couple of years ago. And if you watch my videos, they're probably on my ears every second video. Like I love them, the little croissant hoops. Croissants. Yeah, my little croissant, my little cheese, on my croissant. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe, join the lovely community we have here. Did you notice I was gone? Or did you not even notice? You can tell me, I'll take it. I think we should go out this evening and celebrate a really good interview day. Okay, let's go for, I get too much fire. going to Manchester this weekend for Peter's eldest sister. It's her surprise 30th birthday. So I have to go into town to get Peter's gift for her. But it's a gorgeous day, what the hell? I am going to go. It's a tad bit windy. The audio is probably crap in this, but I'm going to go to E&D. 
END Soho area is where I'm gonna go to get the gift. I was gonna go to Selfridges, but a little bit overwhelming. It's it's a big shop. I know what Ashton likes. I feel like END will suit, and if not, there's so many good spots like in that Soho area. So come on, let's go to Soho. goods got some shoes got a really nice wallet you're welcome ashling happy birthday i'm on the way back home now but going for dinner with my housemate Eva this evening because it's our last it's our last like evening it's our last what's the word stephanie come on words it's our last it's my last time no it's my last few days in the house and i'm moving guys i've been here for three months Remember I was like, I have an apartment sort of for three months, gonna test out London. It's over, the three months are over. I'll tell you all the updates now later, but as of right now, going for a final cute little dinner with my housemate in Clapham actually, we're going down to Clapham. So be cute. I just can't believe it's been three months. 30th birthday is a big birthday. So I wanted to give a special thoughtful gift I suppose and if you guys don't know I actually do graphic design and like illustrations freelance on the side so I thought it'd be a nice idea to do an illustration as a present but I'm really happy with how it's turning out I have the main part of this finished and I just have to do like the landscape the background I wanted to do a family portrait because Ashling, whose birthday it is is very family orientated so if you can see they're faceless and I think I'm going to keep them that way because I think it looks a little bit cooler and I think if I drew the faces it might look a bit naffy you know look at the two dogs I'm proud of this now I must say so obviously what you saw earlier in this video I tried to go to the statue gallery I was unable to go in so instead I stumbled upon a place that's been on my food list and it's in Chelsea and it's called I don't know if I'm allowed to say that with YouTube monetization. It was so good. Would 100% recommend. It is a little bit of a random location now, to be honest, but the Laksa, delicious. I've really been enjoying going on solo dates. I must say I'm very surprised. I'm very surprised because I am an extremely social person. I don't think I would ever really go on a solo date back home in Ireland. Ever? No, definitely not. I just would rather not. I'll just like not do anything and I'll wait and do it with someone. But I think it's nice. I'm actually really glad that I do it. I'm really glad that I like it as well. Solo dates might become my new branding, but I don't want that either. I do miss my boyfriend, I must say, but he's coming to visit very soon. So it's okay. <laughs> to you straight from Borough Market. I'm here with a special little visitor. My boyfriend, he's come over to visit for the weekend. And first things first, we're gonna fill up a Borough Market. I feel like we're just gonna stay here all day and eat, but our eyes are probably bigger than our belly. So we'll see how we go. Peter in the crowd, I just the tall ginger man. Try to thank for the hit. Bobby a hobby till Now we body talking that So why shade on me? Cause I just do my thing low key. But naked while I'm doing Never met a motherfucker like me. Yeah, man, what's up? don't really got no bar. Got some shit that I really want. Got some shit that I really want. Some shit, gotta be 
we have been in the line for Humble Crumble for about 20 minutes now and it looks like we have a good like 15 minutes left in this line. Better be worth it. Just for context, the Humble Crumble queue starts here all the way around the corner and then this is where you get your thing. I am going to tell you if it's not worth it because we're waiting a long time. I'm a free fall, you could call like a ref. Hey, million dollar bet. I'm a better on the music, no sweat. On guard if you're ready for the action. Not a yard of folks I keep yapping. I'll be tempting, but I'm a gay cracking. See my old say what's happening. happening. See I up what's happening. Oh, you good, man? I holla back then. We don't really got no crystal ball. Shut the fuck up. I don't wanna really hear that shit at all. We started this in one of the last few videos, but what are we watching, reading, and listening to recently? Let me tell you. I just finished the book I was reading called The Bullet That Missed, a very fun murder mystery. It's rated really highly on Goodreads. I think it's like 4.4 or something like that. So I had high expectations and I'm not gonna lie to you, the expectations were not met. I am very keen to find a book that I'm obsessed with again because it's been some time. I honestly would only rate the book like five or 5.5 out of 10, which is not good, clearly not that great. I think one of the, thing, the things I found the hardest with the book is I, there were too many characters. I was absolutely overwhelmed. Has anybody read this book? Does anybody feel the same? I felt like a silly girl, a silly idiot girl. Each chapter like moved on to another character and I'd have to go back like four chapters to even remember who they were. And that was not, not fun. The user experience was not great. Okay, what are we watching? After Sun, the movie with Paul Mescal. I don't know if I can express how shook I was, to be honest. My seat was right beside the wall and the end of the movie, like when the credits came on, my head was just against the wall and I was just staring in front of me. And like pretty much nobody got up for like the first couple of minutes. I think everyone was just a bit scarred. Similar to most like kind of Oscar nominated movies, it's artsy, you know, has hidden meanings, all that kind of stuff. So it's not a blockbuster, it's not a Marvel movie, but it's a good one. I am never really one to listen to a podcast, but I have so much time on my own and so an hour travel time now that i never would have had back home so i'm spending so much more time listening to podcasts i've really got into the shameless podcast it's two australian girls you might recognize them from tiktok or you might listen yourself definitely let me know if you do really 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 enjoyed listening to their scandal podcast episodes so they like deep dive on a certain celebrity which is just so up my street and i i don't know if i even talk about that much on my channel but i am obsessed with pop culture i would unofficially announce myself as the pop culture queen to be honest ask me any celebrity question and unfortunately i will know the answer it is quite embarrassing if you are into pop culture it's a it's a good listen it's they're very informative and they're not annoying which is key for a podcast isn't it so that will be my update in regards to what i'm reading watching and listening to Definitely let me know if you've any recommendations in either of those three categories. Going to quickly fix my hair and we're going to go out and enjoy spring in London.